Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a beauty haul for you. I have some drugstore stuff, some things from Sephora, as well as some things from NYX and BH Cosmetics. So if you're interested in seeing my haul, then stay tuned. So thank you for coming back to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I will be making more beauty related videos. I know the past two videos that I put out are hair related, but there will be more beauty related just as soon as I finish unboxing what's in here and then I can finally start doing my beauty reviews and everything like that. I have purchased quite a bit of things over the past couple of months. Um, so I just wanted to share them quickly with you guys. We're going to start with BH Cosmetics. It's one of the things that I'm most excited about. So the first thing that I picked up from BH Cosmetics is the Foil Eye Shadow um, Palette, which is supposed to be like a Makeup Geek dupe for her foiled eyeshadow palettes. I actually purchased this when they were having their BOGO sale. So this was actually 6 bucks instead of 12 So I was really happy about that. It comes with 28 colors. And literally, it's the exact same thing as Makeup Geeks. Um, it comes in this cute little packaging where it's frosted instead of a black cover. And as you guys can see, it comes with a little plastic cover on it that we don't need anymore. And I have dipped my fingers into the palette like a couple of times because I was just so excited about it. But you can see an array of colors. Sadly, there's no like foiled reds or pinks or anything like that. If they did have like a vibrant pink, that would make this perfect. I'm not too keen on these eight pans here because I don't think that they'll look good for me, but I'm pretty sure that they'll look good on fair skin tones. Um, the packaging is a little flimsy, but mine is not to the point where it needs to come out and be put in a Z palette. I'll probably put it in a Z palette later on. Um, if you guys want to see a swatch video or anything on this, please let me know down below because I really am not going to be getting into swatches. But from what I can tell, I am wearing one of the shadows today. It's really pigmented, especially when you add Fix Plus. Like, oh my gosh, it makes the colors like liquid gold. And as you guys can tell, I spoke way too quickly on that because now I need to get a Z palette, like for our shadows fellow, and I can't find one. I'm really pissed off now. Moving right along, hopefully I don't f anything else in this um, video. Um, the next thing that I got from BH Cosmetics is the Wild and Radiant palette, and this is the Baked Illuminating and Bronzing palette. I actually purchased this because my friend on YouTube, Miss Sweet Char, she bought this like a while back and she was saying that it was really good and that I needed to get it. And I'm telling you, it's an amazing illuminating and bronzing um, palette. So BH Cosmetics did an amazing job when they created this highlighting and bronzing palette. The only con that I have about it is that it has a lot of glitter in it. I don't care for glitter. These, these three shades, like I'm not really a goldy, goldy person, but these three are amazing. Like, and everything is so smooth and um, pretty pigmented, as you guys can see. Like, like the colors are really, really, really nice and very pigmented. It's just when you sheer it out is that you can see more of the glitter. The next palette that I picked up is the Missy Lynn palette. The Missy Lynn and Too Faced have very similar palettes. Too Faced came out with the PB&J palette, which unfortunately was not sold at Sephora. It was only an Ulta exclusive, so it was very hard for me to get my hands on it. But when I saw Missy Lynn post a picture of her palette with side-by-side -side comparisons of the Too Faced palette, um, I think it was either from Dupe That or Trend Mood on Instagram, they looked identical. I figured, why am I going to try to spend $70 to get a palette when I can spend 9 bucks and get this palette, which is very similar, and then spend an additional $4 and get the highlighter, and bam, I have my makeshift uh, PB&J palette. 
So her palette comes with about six shades and I believe two highlighters or two bronzers. And that's good enough for me. The pans are really, really, really big. Hopefully this does not fall out like the um, foiled eyeshadow thing. So I'm not going to take this off. I'm not going to do any swatches. Um, but yeah, so I figured that it was just really similar and it was just a heck of a lot cheaper. So I figured why not get it. It also comes with this big mirror, so that's a plus. I also ended up getting a pair of um, eyelashes from BH Cosmetics. They were like two bucks, so I figured to get these as well. And these are in the style Flare, which kind of remind me of like the Wispies. So I just figured for two dollars, why not get it? So excited that I have this. It's the Shan XO uh, Nine Shadow. I um sorry nine color eyeshadow palette and as well as a nine color lipstick palette she launched this a couple weeks ago and i got it on pre-order i just haven't been able to take it out of the box and play with it or anything like that but as you guys can see it comes with nine large eyeshadow pans like these are massive and i don't think anybody other than morphe is offering pan sizes like this but oh my goodness so 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 pretty I'm so obsessed with every single color that is in this palette and I cannot wait to swatch this for you guys I will be doing a swatch video so just be on the lookout for that it also comes with nine um, like lip colors or lip glosses or something like that when I seen swatches of these on her channel obviously her lips are not like mine um, and I mean like her lips are not heavily pigmented like mine so the color showed up as vibrant as possible. I don't know how it's going to look on me, but I'm pretty interested to see. Same thing with Time, like Time's lips aren't as pigmented as mine. So when she did the swatch video on the lip colors, they were pretty accurate to what's in the pan. It might look a little different on me. I'm thinking it's gonna look a bit more sheer but we'll see in a later video. The purchase from Sephora, I wanted this so badly and it was only offered in the States at the time, so I literally crossed the border for this thing. It was the Tarte Glam Goodies and this is the um, Tartlet Tease Eyeshadow Palette, the Tartus Mascara and the Tartiest, yeah, Tartus? Yeah, Tartus um, Lip Paint. It was only offered in the States when I went. It wasn't offered in Canada. So I crossed the border for this and to see my aunt and everything. So I haven't opened it or anything like that. But I'm really excited to play with this next week and do a tutorial for you guys and do like a first impression. The that I have in this box is from the drugstore. So the first thing that I got, again, I got this in the States and a friend ordered it for me and sent it to me. Um, when I was in Brooklyn so it's the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one and this is in chestnut and it's a perfect match um, when I swatched it it reminded me of my Becca satin what is it called so I really haven't played around with this or put it on my face much because I want to do like a first impressions but from the touch it feels very similar to my Becca radiant skin foundation I'm just hoping that it goes on well and just looks a lot better than this one because like I said this one feels a little dark to me but this actually seems like it's the right shade in comparison to my face atelier pro foundations I'm really hoping that shade wise that this will be my low-end version of this I know that this is a, a lot thinner but if I can get the same shade, I'll be so happy. Next couple of things I want to talk about are from NYX. This is a concealer. This is called the Gotcha Cover Concealer. It's supposed to be waterproof. And the shade that I got is Deep. Um, I've tested it just to see if it's full coverage, which it says that it is. Um, it's also a concealer that contains rich coconut oil to provide discoloration and imperfections. I guess the um, coconut oil is just su supposed to add like a dewy finish or hydration or something like that. It says that it does have a dewy finish and all day wear. I'm going to be doing a review on this, so just stay tuned. 
for that. The next two things that I got are the NYX Pro Lip Palettes. This one is in the nudes and this one is in the plums. I actually picked these up a while back and I'm just now getting to haul it. Um, I have tried it and you know, it's okay, but <laughs> um, there's just a couple of things that I kind of like are hit and miss about it, but we'll be discussing that later on in a future video as well. I've been hearing so many good things about this mascara that I had to pick it up myself because it was on sale. And this is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. I remember when I first started YouTube when I started doing mascara reviews because that was like the easiest thing to review. And I'm thinking that I kind of want to get back into it and do like a low end versus a high end like every other month or something like that. Um, I just feel like that would be a great way to do it especially when your mascaras expire every three months that gives you a, a reason to try a new mascara I've just seen so many people using it and I just wanted to try it for myself and see if I like it the wand looks interesting it says that it comes with a push-up cup brush uh, I can't wait to try that out and see how I like it. The only things that I have in this box are from NYC, New York Colors. So I didn't know Demi Lovato came out with a palette. She actually came out with a couple palettes. So I saw this one at Walmart. This is the Night Out palette. And I just figured that it would look really interesting for spring and sometime even summer and as well as fall. Um, I just really like the... Like the Sorry, I really like the plums and the greens that she has in this palette. I know that the other palette that they were offering in store kind of looked like a naked, um, Urban Decay Naked palette, and I'm just not interested in those. So I wanted to try this one because I just really like the shade range in this, even though it's like metallics and mattes, or satins and mattes. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try that, and along with the NYC, I decided that I wanted to try their high definition eyeliner. Um, I have no idea if it's any good or not, but I just figured I would give it a try. As well as their Sky Rise Lengthening Mascara, I bought this purposely for the wand because I wanted um, a wand that wasn't so fat. So many of my mascara wands are fat other than my NARS um, mascara wand, but that one is expired so I needed something else that um was just cheap and was thin that was my haul i hope that you enjoyed it if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe i create videos every week and i look forward to seeing you guys again don't forget to add me on instagram twitter and facebook and i will see you all in another video bye